Today for our level read aloud, we're going to be reading Our Four Walls, and this is by Carolyn Trout, and it's illustrated by Phyllis Harris. The strategy focus is Emilio has a good idea to share. As you read, evaluate how well the author thinks and explains Emilio's idea. Evaluate means to think about. My name is Emilio. Everyone knows me at the senior, senior center. Abuela and I go there twice a week. We make people happy by reading aloud to them. So Abuela is grandmother in Spanish. One rainy day, everyone was very bored when we arrived. The walls in the large meeting room were bare and plain looking. Abuela, I whispered, tugging at her sleeve. I think I know a way to make everyone more cheerful. Abuela smiled at me. She knows what a good thinker I am. She calls me her smart nieto. Attention, she announced. My smart nieto has an idea. Everyone turned to look at me. I felt nervous, but I talked anyway. These walls need some pictures, I said. Everyone agreed. Then Miss Luong, the oldest lady in the center, spoke up. Yes, we need big ones so we can see them. That gave me another really good idea. Two days later, Abuela and I hurried to the center. Our arms were loaded with paints and paintbrushes. Let's get started, I said cheerfully as I entered the room. Aren't you going to read to us, Miss Luong asked surprised. Not today, I replied. Today we are painting. And we need your help, said Abuela, handing out smocks. We're going to make this room more cheerful. That sounds like fun, said Miss Luong. Then I put on my really good idea into action. On one wall, I wrote animals in capital letters. On another, people. On a third, places. And on a fourth, things to do. Let the painting begin, I cheered. Choose any wall and paint something that matches the label. Mrs. Green grabbed a paintbrush and rushed over to anim the animal's wall. I'll paint my dog Scruffles, she said. He's my sweetie. Mr. Epstein joined her. I'm going to paint my cat Queenie with a crown on her head. Mr. Chang star started a picture of his three daughters on the people wall. Mrs. Fox surprised everyone with a life-size portrait of herself. It's me, she said proudly. On the places wall, Mr. Andrews created the whole subway station. He even painted the token booth. Abuela and I painted too. On things to do, we painted a picture of the two of us reading aloud. When the walls were filled with colorful pictures, we threw a party. The director of the center hung up a special plaque. Abuela and I still read at the center. Only now, it's not just the stories we're reading that make people happy. The beautiful walls make everyone happy, too. And then you'll see that the plaque says, R for Walls. All right, guys, the questions are going to be in the description box below, so you can write about them, think about them, or talk about them to check your comprehension and understanding of this story. I hope you guys enjoyed reading it with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!